Assalamualaikum. Abna der shokol ke abar o amontron criminal justice program dek bar jonno. Ami Azam and Coastalistress the principal Solicitor Shafiul Azam. Abong amashate aatsi and criminal lawyer specialist barrister. Amar colleague barrister Lin Tangli. Search warrants and raids. Ita ona ke shunchen. On a face cut to it, say among on a care a blur report, it a report a jana say. And police jokone abner gore ashbe, police jokone abner officer mud the ashbe, search corridor journal, Tarata warrant ni ashbe, Tara raid corridor journal, authority bole jet a warrant with a Tara ni ashbe. Tohone Tarabner of fish take a basha take a. Between the materials gulu, laptop bolen, computer bolen, abnar unnan no device, abong unnan no kagoch, potro, document, jaja tara, shondeho kore, shop tara tahon niya jete parbe, we warrant niya jakon ashbe. An investigating authority may apply for a search warrant, usually under the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. The investigating authority, money police, prosecution, abnar, at a search warrant to apply korte pare under the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. A Ainer Tara at a search warrant, bear korte pare, apply korte pare, among bear korte pare, search korte hole. If Kohon Tara Kotte Barbate, a warrant if it has reasonable grounds to suspect that an offense has been committed. Police Jodi, reasonable acta ground take, acta ground Jodi take, reasonable J. Amra suspect Kotesi at the offense Shongoti to Huece. And there may be material in the premises. That could be assist in an investigation. Abong police jodi mone kore ki, amra jodi hoy premises er mudde, office er mudde, ba ghore er mudde jaya, amra jodi tallashi kori, ta lokan theke amon material jinish patro gula bear hoy ashbe, je gula amader investigation er jinno kaje ashbe helpful hobe. Tokhon tarar e ground er upore tarar abnar. Search warrant bear korbe. Ashar age. Placed with such a prospect, a person needs a legal defense team capable of challenging the investigators. Abnar ek matro experienced expert solicitor jarase. Tarai police warrant ta thik moto bear kore chhe kina. Ugula challenge got the barbe. Judy, experienced solicitor na hoy, Tileta de regulo, investigator er, eguluki challenge korar moto, abnar, knowledge, hotota de tagbena, abong tara korbena, shudaranak a dorkar hobe, appropriate, expert, experienced criminal defense solicitor jara egulo, procedural genius gula jara check korbe. Among Boosbe, among Dorkar Hulash, Ebulu challenge Korbe. Either by reference to procedural rules regarding the application for the warrant. Jetara shop, Niyom Kanun Gulu, Mene Bel Kore Sekina, Warranta, Ugulu Tokon, Solicitor Abner, Deklei Shop Gulu, Booste Parbe. The proper procedure Gula follow for Sekina Polish. Or to the actual conduct of the search. The Ottoba Gore Mude Eshe, the search Jake or the company official Mude, Niom Kanunace. She Niom Kanun Gulu conduct Kora search Kora J Shogulu properly conduct Kore Chikina, follow Kore Chikina rule Kanun Gulu, Ugulo Tokon Abner, Solicitor Abner Dag Besham Gulu. Tokon Abner Shat a meeting Korbe. Meeting Kora Parabni Bolben, Polish Ashar Pore Kiki Kurece, Kibabetara Sarch Kurece, 
তখন সলিসিটার বুঝতে পারবে সবকিছু রুল গুলো ফলো করে করা হয়েছে কিনা such challenges can be an important tactic when acting immediately to mount a powerful defense case এই চ্যালেঞ্জ গুলো কিন্তু অনেক সময় খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট হয়ে দাঁড়ায় কোম্পানির হাউসে রেড করার পরে অনেক কাগজপত্র অনেক ম্যাটেরিয়াল নেওয়া যাওয়ার পরে ইমিডিয়েটলি কিন্তু চ্যালেঞ্জ গুলো করতে হবে কোনো ভুল ভ্রান্তি যদি পুলিশ করে থাকে কারণ এটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট ডিলিং উইথ দা আফটার ম্যাথ অফ রেড ইজ জাস্ট অ্যাজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট অ্যাজ স্টাবলিশিং এ টিম টু ডিল উইথ অল অ্যাসপেক্টস অফ দা ইমিনেন্ট ইনভেস্টিগেশন তারপরে আপনার রেডের পরে পরবর্তী যেগুলো করতে হবে এগুলো কিন্তু ইম্পর্টেন্ট রেড করার পরে ম্যাটেরিয়াল গুলো কি কি নিয়ে গেছে কাগজপত্র কি কি নিয়ে গেছে এগুলোর উপরে অ্যানালাইজ করতে হবে সলিস্টারকে ক্লায়েন্টের সাথে বসতে হবে প্রজ অ্যান্ড কনস গুলো ডিসকাস করতে হবে এবং ক্লায়েন্টকে বলতে হবে এখন তো রেড করেছে অনেক জিনিসপত্র নিয়ে গেছে এখন তো ইনভেস্টিগেশন তো শুরু হয়েছে এখন ইনভেস্টিগেশন শুরু হবে তাকে অ্যারেস্ট করবে তাকে নিয়ে যাবে এবং ইন্টারভিউ করবে এগুলো তখন ক্লায়েন্টের সাথে বসতে হবে এখন তো রেড করে যে ম্যাটেরিয়াল নিয়ে গেছে এখানে শেষ নয় এটা মাত্র শুরু এক্সপেরিয়েন্সড লিগাল অ্যাডভাইজার্স শুড হ্যাভ অ্যাক্সেস টু অল রিলিভেন্ট ইনফরমেশন যে আপনার লয়ারকে আপনাকে সব কিছু দিতে হবে যে রেড করার পরে কি কি ম্যাটেরিয়াল গুলো নিয়ে গেছে অফিস থেকে বা ঘর থেকে এগুলো সব লিস্ট করে বলতে হবে যে তারা যে একটা লিস্ট দিয়ে যাবে ওইটা সলিস্টারকে দিতে হবে যে এই এই ম্যাটেরিয়াল গুলো তারা আমার ঘর থেকে নিয়ে গেছে তখন সলিস্টার বুঝতে পারবে ওগুলো অ্যানালাইজ করবে কি কি জিনিসপত্র নিয়ে গেছে সব কিছু this team must analyze the evidence taken during the raid and examine the strength of the case against the company tokhon apnar legal team apnar solicitor ebong apnar barrister tara ei list gulo examine korbe ki ki document niye geche ebong apnar against the case ta koto tuk strong e gulo examine korbe e gulo police er apnar against e je case ta shuru holo এটা কত স্ট্রং কেস আপনার অ্যাগেন্স্ট হইতে পারে কোম্পানির অ্যাগেন্স্ট হইতে পারে এগুলো সবগুলো অ্যানালাইজ করবে বিশ্লেষণ করবে দ্য স্টেপ টেক এন ইমিডিয়েটলি আফটার দ্য রেড আর ভাইটাল রেড করার পরে পরে অনেকগুলো স্টেপ নিতে হবে দেখতে হবে কি কি ম্যাটেরিয়াল গুলো নিয়ে গেছে এবং এই স্টেপ গুলো নিতে হবে ইমিডিয়েটলি একমাত্র যাদের এক্সপেরিয়েন্স আছে যাদের নলেজ আছে যাদের এই কেস গুলো ক্রিমিনাল কেস গুলো হ্যান্ডেল করার এক্সপার্টিস আছে একমাত্র তারাই বুঝতে পারবে তারাই ডিসিশন নিতে পারবে যে কোন স্টেপটা নিতে হবে রেইডের পরে পুলিশে যে আপনার ঘরে যে সার্চ করে যে অফিসে সার্চ করে যে বিভিন্ন ম্যাটেরিয়াল নিয়ে গেল ওটার উপরে কি স্টেপ নিতে হবে সেটা একমাত্র এক্সপেরিয়েন্স এবং লিগাল অ্যাওয়ারনেস যে লয়ারদের আছে তারা বলতে পারবে কোন স্টেপ নেওয়াটা দরকার অ্যান্ড দ্য ইফেক্টস অফ সাচ এ স্ট্র্যাটেজি উইল বি ক্লিয়ার ইন হাইন সাইড if a company or individual is raided sudaran eta shuru thekei bujha jabe jokhon eta company er office ba individual office jokhon raid hobe tokhon ei apnar ki hote pare ei jinish gula newar pore ki problem hote pare ki issue daraite pare case er mane main issue kon kon gula hobe এগুলো তখন সলিস্টাররা বুঝতে পারবে সবগুলো এগুলো খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট সার্চ ওয়ারেন্ট পুলিশ নিয়ে আসে এবং পুলিশ এগুলো রেড করে ঘরে করুক বা অফিসে করুক এবং বিভিন্ন ম্যাটেরিয়ালসগুলো নিয়ে যাবে এবং আপনি এগুলো দেরি করলে হবে না আপনাকে সাথে সাথে স্পেশালিস্ট এক্সপার্ট সলিস্টারের সাথে এনগেজ করতে হবে 
मीटिंग करते हैं एवं सब गुलो डिटेल्स डिस्कशन करते हैं जो ए मटेरियल गुलो निये गए लो एक बार आमर विरुद्ध है आमर केस टा कोतो ए स्ट्रॉंग होते पारे कारण सुन तो तारा पुलिस तो एरेस्ट कर बे इंटरव्यू दे निये जावे। I will go back to my colleague Barrister Lane Townley. Barrister Lane Townley जेटा बोल चिलेन हिस्टोरिकल सेक्सुअल एब्यूज जरु परे जेटा अपना पुरानो हिस्टोरिकल एब्यूज जेगुलो जेगुला अपना तीस बहुत साल आगे होता है एक टा एक जन के एब्यूज करा हुए चे बात आरो बेशी बात तीस बहुत साल बीस बहुत साल जेको ना पुरानो हो शेटा ताकतार बहुत चिलो तो अपन कम दस बहुत साल बा आठ बहुत साल और तो बस बारह बहुत साल किंतु शे एक ओन बहुत शे ओने एक बार हुए गए चे तार बहुत शे is a very very long time more often than not there is little in the way of physical evidence so you can comment on this point please yes as, as we mentioned in the last segment um because the offenses take place many years before and as you find that case that was 63 years old um the chances of actually um, being able to find any physical evidence have diminished because obviously if there's any evidence on the the victim's body as 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 you, you may expect in a recent case um any any sort of physical injuries or scarring or body fluids obviously they would have long gone and any other evidence that that might have been in place um, in the area where the assault took place, obviously with the passage of time, that that too um, will have disappeared. And if it was bodily fluids, it would have have degraded um, as well and and be um, worthless as uh, as potential evidence. So it's because of the passage of time that it means that that any physical evidence is likely to go. Um, also, we talked about memory as well. If there's any corroborative evidence um, that might corroborate someone's account, obviously that, that where well, that with the passage of time can go as well. And uh, and then individuals, obviously who were alive then, may have since passed away. So the passage of time uh, makes uh, obviously um, really um, will will mean that. What, what evidence may have been available close to the time is no longer available. There have been some cold cases, so cases that have been reinvestigated where there's been an initial report and the police may have seized, um, for example, clothing or bedding. And then um, the, the case has been left for a number of years and then reinvestigated and the police have been able to use up to date scientific techniques such as DNA analysis and actually have, have successfully um, uh, been able to get DNA profiles, uh, items that are many years old, but th those are rare cases and they tend to be cases where the perpetrator isn't known and often they're murder cases, unfortunately, because they do a different type of investigation in murder cases. So for most sexual assault cases that they won't have been reported at the time, um, and therefore there will have been no investigation or no evidence collection. So um, if they're reported for the first time later on, uh, there'll be no opportunity simply to collect this evidence. So that is why, as we discussed at length in the last segment, the cases tend to turn on the witness testimony of the complainant. And that's why it's important that the legal team are well versed and experienced in testing that type of testimony in court. Yep, yeah, yeah, very important. Very, very little evidence, uh, physical evidence. It is not possible anyway, because things happened 20, 30 years ago. So there is no way. It's it just uh, how convincing statement they are giving, whether they are contradicting, whether inconsistencies. Yes, and those are the things that will have to be uh, checked in court by the legal team. So it has to be um, a barrister who is um, experienced in dealing with victims in these cases. 
and uh, will will be aware of the law of evidence and how it applies in these cases and to historic um, allegations and 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 how the 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 account can be challenged in cross examination. It will turn on that um, because uh, there will be no other evidence, and that will diminish the the standing of the case for for the point of view of the case being charged in the first place. So it will all turn on how the evidence is challenged at the trial. And also, these complainants uh, interviews will be ABE interview will be played in the courtroom. Yes, gen generally now there'll be tape, there'll, there'll be our video, not tape, but video recorded interviews. So the evidence in chief um, will stand as as a video recording because there have been measures have been brought in, in in relatively recent years to assist complainants um, to give evidence in, in cases where uh, generally it, it can be other cases as well, depending on the age or the, the mental condition or whether the complainant has got any particular special needs or um, any any other uh, difficulties, they can give their evidence by a video and, and a video will be taken by the police rather than a normal written statement. And also in sexual cases now, generally the provisions allow for um, a video recorded evidence in the vast majority of cases, unless for some reason an individual wants to give live evidence, which will be be very rare. Mostly, um, individuals want recordings, and recordings can be made um, in pretty much every every single case of a sexual nature, and they will be used in the court as the initial um, examination in chief. So they stand as the evidence, and then and now as well, what's happening is that often the um, the cross examination will be pre recorded outside the courtroom as well, and that's to to lessen the stress that uh, is is well documented uh, as being present for anyone who is a victim of a sexual assault that the court ordeal is, is so stressful that they need they need assistance in giving their evidence and that's all well and good on on for the side of um of the victims and witnesses but then obviously if you have to defend an allegation like that um it makes it uh, very difficult um but it again it means that there must be someone there who's an expert in dealing with um, cross-examination and cross-examination that may well be videoed outside of the court. And it's a fine balance to challenge these allegations because the complainants are are often extremely upset and understandably so. Um, but you have to challenge the allegations professionally, but also robustly. And that, that that's a fine line to tread um, which is why you need someone who's specialist in, in this practice. Also, you know, the police officers, the, the police have the specialist team, it's called the RASO, Rape and Serious Sexual Offences Unit, and they have the specialist police force to prosecution to prosecute the rape allegations and the interviews taken by the police officers are very, very thorough. Recorded, everything recorded. Very covering every single of the aspects of the complainants. And it will be played in the courtroom. So just expand on these points, please, for the viewers. Well, because of criticisms that in the way that cases were investigated um, previously, there were a number of criticisms in the way that um, there were often allegations that, that victims of sexual offences were not treated in an appropriate manner by the police and that it was a very degrading and stressful and difficult process for them to go through. And actually, because um, it, it was uh, it was known and, and and reported in the media how, how awful the process was to actually um, report um, a sexual offence coupled with actually quite 
relatively low conviction rates, particularly in rape cases, there's a lower conviction rate for rape and sexual offences than there is for other types of offences. So all of all of these factors were discouraging um, victims and complainants and witnesses from coming forward because they felt that it would be too stressful and that there wouldn't be a conviction um, in any event. So it's a response to, to these these issues that um, the police and um, the prosecution services created specialist units who only dealt with sexual offences um, for the purpose that officers and lawyers would then become uh, particularly versed and expert in sexual offences and, and more importantly, dealing with victims of sexual offences and how to deal with them um, in a way that was um, empathetic, understanding and appropriate um, and it didn't make their ordeal of having to report any worse than it, than it needed to be. So that's why the specialist units have been set up and also why the police um, now record any of the evidence because what it means is that, that if that evidence is recorded and if the cross-examination is recorded, it means that often the the witness doesn't need to give any further evidence in the courtroom setting and they can remain outside the courtroom in a separate room but actually view the proceedings over a video link so they don't need to be in the same room as the alleged perpetrator they don't need to see the alleged perpetrator and they're outside of the courtroom which is obviously as anyone who's ever been in a in a crime court knows it will it's a very formal atmosphere and for those who are not used to it, it can be very, very off-putting, very intimidating and not conducive to you talking about uh, things that have happened in your private life that are probably the most stressful things that have ever happened to you in, in, in your entire life. So you can be outside of that setting and in a room, still in, in, in often in the court building, but just a, a normal um, room with a, a video camera so like sitting just literally in front of the laptop and seeing what's going on in the courtroom and it's much less stressful than having to be in the courtroom giving live evidence and then being cross-examined live as well so yes yeah. for that reason all of these things were brought in yeah so the basically the way police prosecuting the rape allegations, sexual serious offence cases, serious sexual offence cases, the specialist team they have, the defence team has also been specialist similar way, then only there will be a level, level playing field. The solicitor, specialist solicitor and a specialist barrister. Yes, well, it, it's important for reasons that we've talked about at length today that, that, that um, if someone finds themselves accused of a sexual offence, they need to, they need to um, speak to a specialist solicitor at the first opportunity because there's a lot of work to be done on these cases. It will all turn, uh, often will turn on um, what, what questions are asked um, in court. Um, and and to, to actually explore the, the right questions and to cross-examine effectively, you need a specialist team working on the case. You need a specialist barrister because it's, it's a difficult task to have because you have to be robust, but at the same time, um, be, um, be sympathetic and empathetic victims so it's not to accept them um, unnecessarily. So it's a difficult task. Um, so you just simply cannot go to a general solicitor or uh, at worst a solicitor who doesn't specialise in criminal law, but even a general criminal law solicitor, you, you have to actually make sure that there's someone with specific expertise in sexual offences that is looking at your case or dealing with it, at the very least that the barrister um, is on the uh, is is a, a specialist se a sexual uh, offence uh, barrister, so sort of defending, or perhaps they can also be on the approved prosecution list. Because if you're going to prosecute these cases as a barrister, you have to demonstrate that you are a specialist, that you've had the the, the appropriate training to get onto the approved prosecution list. So um, whilst there's no such list for defence barristers, they should, they should be able still to demonstrate that they um, have an up-to-date knowledge, they've attended training sessions and that they have 
a portfolio of cases that shows um, experience in defending these types of cases. So you, you should actually uh, demand to see the evidence that that that, that someone is a specialist uh, defender of sexual offences because it's not something that a generalist um, criminal solicitor stroke barrister or particularly barrister should be taking on. They need to have a particular expertise because these cases are complex and they have nuances or um, elements of them that you don't find in other criminal uh, cases and, and issues arise that don't arise in other parts of the criminal law that um, the, the barrister who's defending them in court needs to be familiar with. Thank you. Doshok, Azamade Shomoi Prai Shashuegetse, Achkir program T Abar Puno Prochar Korahobe, repeat the Kanohobe next Tuesday, Mongol Bardin Dupur Sharbara Teke Duta, Barta Tirish Teke Duta, next Tuesday, Tasara NTV Europe, Facebook, among YouTube, login Kolo Amnara, Askir program T Dekte Barben. এবং সলিসিটর শাফিউল আজম আজম এন্ড কোসলিসিটরস এই নামে সার্চ করলে গুগলের মধ্যে তখন আপনারা সুস্থ থাকুন এবং সকলের প্রতি আমার শুভকামনা থাকলো আসসালামু আলাইকুম